Hello everyone, this is Ms. Natri, your world history teacher. I hope you are doing well, safe and sound. In this tutorial, or in this video, I will discuss uh, and describe, I would say, the new topic or the new unit that we are going to tackle. Topic 3, titled Ancient India and China. Duration, 7 weeks. So this video serves as Mm, an explanatory um, to topic number three unit video so let's start with the description um, now in this topic you will unravel the mysteries of the Indus Valley civilization yeah the lost valley or the lost civilization you'll discover their profound teachings of Buddhism and Hinduism you will also examine the complex social structures and advancements in mathematics and science. Um, you will learn, um, I would say, epic tales um, that are both Chinese and Indian. Um, you will turn your attention to ancient China, tracing the origins of the empires or dynasties, the Chinese dynasties. Um, you will uncover the wisdom of Confucius um, and the marvels of the Silk Road trade network. Uh, you will have a deeper understanding of, an, uh, of the culture, philo cultures, philosophies and legacies of both ancient India, India and China. Now, as for the essential question of this topic is how are religion and culture connected? How can religion affect culture? Okay. Um, here you have the assessment objectives. By the end of this unit, you will be able to identify the major cause of starting early civilizations of ancient India and China. You will also identify the main characteristics of the Indian and Chinese civilization. You will describe the main features which distinguish those civilizations. You will understand the influence, impacts, and consequences that those ancient civilizations left later peoples or us with. You will also locate the main re regions and places in which the ancient India, Indians and Chinese uh, and, their, and then understand the influence of geography on the start of those civilizations. You will summarize the impact of religions, beliefs, and practices that those people followed um, on their culture create charts showing the relations between history, geography, religion, and culture, and interpret maps in and around ancient e India and China, and why they were a good place for um, the people to settle in, and finally identify the characteristics of the political system adopted at that time. You also, we have also integrations, connections, some subjects that integrate with this topic. We have geography, religious studies, language and literature, art and ar architecture, economics and trade, social studies, science and technology. Now we are going to delve into these integrations more and more when we um, start with this, with this unit. Um, so I will only explain two of them. Okay, for now, let's start with the religious studies because the essential question focuses on the impact of religion on culture. So the study of religious such as Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism is, um, is integrated into the curriculum. Students explore the beliefs, rituals, and ethical principles of these faiths, gaining insights into the spiritual and moral dimensions of life in ancient India and China. They analyze how religion influenced art architecture and social structures, as you can see here in the last sentence, how religion affected culture, and culture includes art, architecture, social structures, or social classes, and so on. Um, so we also have the language and literature. Language and literature are essential components of studying these civilizations. You'll, you'll be able uh, or you may read ancient texts like the Vedas, Apanchads, and classical Chinese poetry. They analyze 
uh, you will analyze the significance of these texts and their contributions to the world to world literature. <clears throat> Additionally, you will learn about the development of scripts like Sanskrit and Chinese characters. Okay, so the unit project, we will talk in depth, of course, I will, about the unit project when the right time comes along. Um, I will include, as usual, a unit page where um, uh, there are specific steps that you, that you need to follow in chronological order. But here I, I will talk about the unit project in general, like a brief explanation. So the, the project title will be The Sacred Artifact, Exploring the Interplay of Religion and Culture in Ancient India and China. As a description, in this hands-on project, you will delve into the profound relationship between religion and culture in ancient uh, India and China by examining sacred artifacts. The goal is to understand how religious beliefs influenced and were influenced by culture, art, and daily life of these civilizations. As for the assessment, you will be assessed on the depth of your research, the clarity of your presentations, and your ability to draw connections between religion and culture in ancient India and China. As for the benefits, uh, it allows you to explore history and culture through hands-on examination of artifacts. It also promotes critical thinking, research skills, and understanding of the profound impact of religion on society. Additionally, it encourages cross-cultural comparisons and discussions, fostering a deeper appreciation of the interconnectedness of human history. We also have a video here that briefly explains the relationship between religion and culture to aid you. And here you have the alignment between mass vision and mission and the unit. As you can hear, you see, as you can see here, I included some categories, uh, leading uh, categories that explain the connection between the unit and the school's mission and vision. Um, you also have an attached. Uh, article about China and India and reflection questions. By the end of the unit, you're gonna, you are going to need, you are going to answer these reflective questions to examine your understanding of the unit. And also you have the specialty corner, it's some articles about ancient India and you also have, sorry I need to fix this, also an article on ancient China. And of course the resources uh, the unit resources. If you can click on this image, it will directly take you the, to the resources aligned to this unit. That is pretty it. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.